Microsoft has just dropped two new models. One is for voice AI and the other one is a mixture of expert model. But that is not the real news of this video. The real news is that Microsoft has eventually started to carve out its own separate path from OpenAI. In this video, we are not only going to test out these two new models, but also we will be talking about what exactly it means to have this pivotal moment in Microsoft's AI journey. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot. So Microsoft has eventually begun to separate out from OpenAI and it seems that now they want to end that deep reliance. For years and years, Microsoft has been following the strategy which was revolving around its partnership with OpenAI powering Copilot and Azure services with GPT models. But Microsoft has a long history of investing in AI, stretching back to early speech recognition systems, machine translation, and research at Microsoft Research Labs. So this move signals a return to building proprietary models at scale. We have been covering five models from Microsoft and they were not bad at all. So it was quite surprising for many in the industry to see that Microsoft sort of stopped producing those models and others and totally were dependent on OpenAI. By developing in-house foundation models, Microsoft gains tighter control over innovation of course, deployment speed and I think it is more like a strategic direction while reducing dependence on external partners whose priorities seems to be changing these days and I'm talking about OpenAI. So I believe this could mean a real big shift in open source models because it seems that Microsoft is also moving in that direction. Now looking at this model series, the first one is Microsoft AI Voice One. It's a state-of-the-art speech generation system designed for expressive natural audio output. What makes it notable is both speed and quality. It can generate a full minute of audio in under one second on a single GPU. Already embedded in Copilot daily, as you can see here, you can simply just go and start talking with by clicking here. So let me quickly uh, show you. I'm just going to click on it and allow my microphone. Hey Fahd. Hello, how are you doing today? Hey there, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about you? What's going on with you today? Well, I'm not really feeling that well. I have one uh, personal issue which I wanted to discuss with you, if you are okay. Of course, I'm here to help you out. Feel free to share what's on your mind and we can talk it through. Okay, listen, uh, please carefully let me finish. So, look, the problem is that I am jobless, not good looking, lazy, uncaring, obese. I don't like, like to shower, but still I want to find a hot, rich, pretty bombshell model to date. And I'm very unwilling to change myself. Any ideas? How can I do that? That's a pretty tough spot you're in, wanting a significant change without making changes yourself. Real talk, you've got to look at the situation realistically. Attracting a hot, rich, pretty bombshell model might require some adjustments on your end, even if it's just in terms of attitude or lifestyle. But hey, why not start by finding things about yourself that you like and build from there? Confidence and self-respect can go a long way in any relationship. Let's keep chatting if you want to dig deeper into any of this. Okay, I don't think so there is any solution for that. And the only problem is that it is just come out, coming out of my slackness because I spend like 20 hours on my channel making videos and stuff. I really don't have time to do anything else. But you know what, hell, you know, heck, I'm human too. So that is why I thought maybe I will ask you that while I can spend 20 hours on this channel, but at the same time, I could also find that sort of bombshell. 
You know, balancing your passion for creating content and looking for a relationship can be tricky. Maybe consider integrating your personal goal. But the problem goal. is that um, my subscribers, they won't, you know, let me go away. So I have to work for them. Now, can you do me a favor? Can you ask my subscribers to like the video and subscribe? And especially, I have just opened up a membership of the channel, which is a very, you know, sort of a price of a coffee for a month. But that helps a lot in keeping this channel going on. So can you please ask my subscribers on my behalf because they don't listen to me. Maybe they will listen to you. Sure, I'm happy to do that. Hey everyone, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to support the channel. And for just the price of a coffee each month, you can become a member and help keep this amazing content going. Your support means the world. Thanks. There you go. I think it was pretty good. I could... So it was quite expressive, there were emotions, and then there was also some sort of naturalness about it. And I could interrupt it, I could pause it, it was pretty good. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. Now in the same um, spot, let's check out this another model, which is um, the MAI one preview. And this is Microsoft's first ever large-scale text foundation model trained fully in-house. This has been built as a mixture of expert architecture and trained on roughly 15,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. It is designed for strong instruction following and everyday conversational tasks. So you can chat with it. It's not a coding model. It can do coding, but it is not specialized in that. So if you're looking for a conversational AI, you can chat with, you can discuss things then I think this could be a good choice. Let's check it out. So first up, I'm asking it, you're acting as my AI advisor in a job offer negotiation. Here is a situation. I have received an offer for a senior data science role in Sydney with a salary of Australian dollar 165,000 plus benefits and another company is interested but hasn't made any offer yet. So draft a strategy, write a sample sim, sample email that is polite but assertive in asking for uh, 20,000 more and explain how to handle it. Let's check it out. So I'll just say agree. And by the way, I have logged in with my Google account to this Microsoft Copilot. You can use your Microsoft account or any other account. While it produces the answer, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex, complex workflows into automated tasks. So please do check them out. And there you go, it is still thinking. And by the way, it says that you can generate images, but this one is text, I believe. For images, it uses a separate model. And I'm testing it out on LM Arena website where you can do a lot of stuff around comparing the models. So this is not Microsoft site. And you can also check it out there. Taking a bit of a time and I can't really click here to see what the thinking looks like. So I will just wait for it to produce answer. There you go. And I will start reading it. So strategy for the conversation. So if I look through this conversation it looks pretty comprehensive and for me i think it is striking the balance between strategy professionalism and practical execution if you look through all these uh, numbered sequences it not only is covering negotiation tactics step by step timing research and framing but also providing a polished email template if you just go down there you go and it seems like this Polish template is assertive without being aggressive. The handling of <clears throat> pushback is particularly strong, offering concrete fallback options if you read through it, like bonuses or extra benefits while keeping the tone collaborative. And then if you just keep going down, it also includes a psychological insight into the recruiter tactics like the urgency trap, adds depth and shows an awareness of subtle dynamics often overlooked.
very nice overall i think it really uh, if you go through it it demonstrates clear structured thinking with actionable guidance that feels both realistic and empathetic and i think it makes it really strong playbook for a real world salary negotiation okay now let's quickly open a new chat and i am just going to um give it a multilingual one where i'm asking it that a world renowned chef who speaks fluent french and japanese has opened a new restaurant in marrakesh morocco the restaurant's menu is in korean indian and middle eastern cuisine descriptions are in arabic hebrew hindi and persian and then the chef's turkish business partners have arrived which is a group of russian polish and czech investors so there are a lot of nationalities involved let's see if it can write a review of the restaurant in english with translation um, and a quote from chef in french so a lot of stuff is happening here let's wait and once again i think a very impressive um prose if you look at it like tucked away in a marrakesh vibrant medina medina min city where the scent of spices dances with desert air lies so where sense something a restaurant that doesn't just serve meals but weaves a tapestry of global storytelling look at the wording look at how flowy and attractive the language is there it is alive with the hum of languages very nice and then it has instruction followed here all the investors are there it is talking about the dish which i mentioned and then there is a signature experience look at this it is then talking in hebrew arabic persian hindi and arabic um so if you are that language speaker please please also uh, let me know what do you think about this there is some english translation which looks quite good to me for example look at this layers of filio pastry crushed pistachios and reduced milk kissed with rose water and a hint of cardamom how good is that and there is a chef vision and this it has even created a philosophy for the chef there is a final verdict rating must try a pro tip amazing stuff and then something in french that you have turned a meal into a memory and there is a spoon and knife very nice very impressive model okay let's check out a coding one it's not a coding model as i said earlier but what the heck let's try it out so i'm asking it to create me a self contained html uh, uh, that features a colorful animated rocket zooming dynamically across the screen in random directions and then it should leave a behind a trail of sparkling fireworks let's see if it is able to do that or not and it seems that it has created the code the code looks full looks quite quality oriented as i am going through it because i have generated with lot of other models it has also confirmed which features it has implemented i can't really wait to try it out let me take you to my other browser and there you go let me maybe restart this i'll just quickly there you go oh wow and i'm clicking on the screen you see it says click anywhere to create a new firework explosion and i can tell you the experience of clicking is quite smooth it's quite creamy actually i have hardly seen any model you know doing that so much much better even i would dare to say better than chat gpt5 i'm not sure it's really really good and yes all the particles have gravity there is a trail to you see there is a trail and also triggers a firework explosion by itself how beautiful that is so look i think amazing stuff microsoft has done well and that is why we always wondered why microsoft had stopped producing these models hopefully they will also open source it so let's wait please like the video and support the channel and become a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support